I'm Rebecca Carpenter, and we are at Photography. I'm looking where I'm going. <laughs> On this week's episode, Rebecca Carpenter walks into a pole. She also touches this elevator. We are at Photography Farm's Thrive Workshop. The first day is all in classroom. The second day is all shoots like this. So let's go with Rebecca and her group for a shoot on day two. So the plan for today, what I want for this year is to do a shoot where you can actually blog the entire thing. So it's all well and good getting like some banging shots in the street, but there's no context for that. We are gonna start in a hotel room next door. So we're gonna shoot bridal prep of them in their dressing robes getting each other ready, putting on their shoes, and then going outside and getting portraits. So that way, at the end of the day, you can blog the entire shoot as, a, as an elopement story. Hello, housekeeping. <laughs> How are we doing? So this is our lovely couple. Last one, guys. Last one. They've done this three times. So this is my lovely couple. This is Kelly. Hi, this is Ula. And before we start shooting them, because I think that's kind of rude, just for like, right, forehead to forehead. That's not very polite. Um, <laughs> what I always encourage my couples to do is if I'm with them on a wedding day or a couple shoot, I'll say, tell me your love story. And that would just, it's gonna relax them. Lens cap off would always be a good, <laughs> good start. <laughs> I'm like, why is it so dark? <laughs> and that is their love story. So normally I would play music because Taylor's recording audio. Yeah, YouTube doesn't like copyright. YouTube doesn't. If it, ain't, if it ain't music bed, it ain't happening. <laughs> I'll give you a music bed playlist. Sorry for ruining the mood, everyone. Oh, <laughs> oh, but, but at this stage, what I would say is play music to create an atmosphere to get them relaxed. And I have different playlists for different scenarios. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by getting them just chatting and cuddling. And what we're going to do is line up the shot and be really intentional and shoot four frames so go wide go close and change it and then we're going to change positions i love what you're doing right now so keep touching each other's hands and then switch it that's beautiful girls love that So look around the room because you've actually got details to shoot. You've got shoes, you've got floral, you've got a veil, you've got the dresses hanging up. And right now, yes, the light is a bit tragic, but you can actually have just enough. Yeah, just enough. Just on the jawline of Ula while you're there. Thank you. Stunning. And if you think we've been in here for just like, what, 10, 15 minutes, and if you think about what we've taken so far in terms of a story, because I think we have the tendency to panic, don't we? We're like, shoot, 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 shoot. When we need to remember like the story, why we're doing this. And if you girls get even closer to each other, So we're going to capture them going in the hallway, out of the lift. When we go outside, we're going to split and we can shoot whichever side you want of the corridor. Okay, so if some of you stand this side, some of you stand this side, then we can capture them walking up the corridor. And keep walking. Oh, they're having a moment. That's fine. Go for it. <laughs> Beautiful. So we can do this a few times. Shall we do it so you're not all in each of us' reflection? Yeah. Right, so we've got plenty of time because there's six of you, you could do this individually. So do you want to line up? <laughs> Just kiss the door as it's like shit. Okay. Not kiss the door, <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> Skills. Wow. See, this is the things they don't teach you in wedding school. Walking backwards, holding lifts with your fingers. <laughs> there, you can't see it in the reflection. So what we're going to do 
photos. We're going to catch them coming out of the hotel and then we're going to just not let photograph them. We're just going to we should walk to the location because as we know, Glasgow is, it's Glasgow. So we're going to go to a nicer area. It has rain cover as well. But until then, we're just going to do that. Cool. So we should go outside and capture them walking out and then we'll give them umbrellas. We're going to do this once. We're not repeating it. So, <laughs> okay. And go. Really natural. That's lovely. Soft in the face. Beautiful. Got it. Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to walk, but Ula, you're going to go slightly further from front. Have your bouquets dangling. Yes, have them just super chill. So, yeah. So if you guys just stand here, we'll get some just nice portraits of the girls together. <laughs> Kind of like this. Yeah, perfect. That's beautiful. Bring it over here. So I am shooting Sony in a very battered 30. Look at that. Look at that just, that's tragic. That's a sign of a well, well worked camera. So I'm shooting 35 and 50. When I shoot in the city, I tend to just keep to one body because I think as soon as you bring a harness out, you will get really suspicious and they're like, what are you doing? Is this for professional use? So top tip, if you're shooting in cities, just keep it simple with one body because as soon as you start bringing a harness, it freaks people out. When I'm shooting steps, I personally never shoot people like for example, I would never shoot somebody coming down like this because that's not that flattering. So I was going to walk diagonally. I said you would dress, you can get the train. Stunning. <laughs> Are you okay? Are you caught? Yeah. <laughs> honestly, she's like, this just give me anxiety. <laughs> the reason why is because when you borrow stuff from people, you've got to give it back to these people in pristine condition. Um, it's raining, it's dirty. Last year, fun fact, I did a shoot in Glasgow and a cigarette magically went its way underneath the dress and melted three layers of the dress. Yes, yeah, I had, oh, I, I felt sick. I was like, how oh, am I gonna tell the dress sharp? Like, oh my God. But luckily I was like, edited the previews and she was like, they're amazing. I was like, so this is the dress, this is the situation. And she was, she took it really well. She took it really well, but I felt sick the whole way back home from Glasgow. I was like, Super cute. That is, oh, that's the one. That is so lovely. Having fun? I'm having so much fun. I'm such a wonderful girl. Honestly, the, the girls are just amazing. And they've never done this before. So for this one, so now, I, oh yes, oh, I love that. La, do it again for the cheap seats at the back. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you so much for joining us on this rainy day chaotic shoot. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, enjoyed joining along with us in the lovely Glasgow. To see more, follow Taylor's channel. I'm also on Instagram. I'm Rebecca Carpenter Photography, or my education account is The Artsy Education. We can find out tips and tricks, how to do wedding photography, have a better business life, all kinds of things on Instagram and YouTube. Thank you so much, girls. You've been incredible.